sir. I am Dr. Ram Sir Khan, MBBS MD, General Medicine, Consultant Physician and Diabetologist. Uh, so today I'm going to talk on uh, basics of hypertension and understanding the principles of hypertension. So I really thank the Cipla Pharmaceuticals for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak on this topic. So coming on to the topic hypertension. So what is mean by hypertension? Hypertension is nothing but the rise in blood pressure in our human body. So how we, how exactly how we say that the blood pressure is increased or decreased? So we usually measure it by the blood pressure monitoring that is the mercury sipo, sipo manometer. Uh, so what is the value that we that we say as hypertension is if the systolic BP is more than 140 milligram of mercury and the diastolic more than 90 milligram of mercury, we call it as hypertension. There's also an entity called as prehypertension. Prehypertension is the value of systolic between 130 to 139 is called as prehypertension and diastolic between 80 to 89. So the blood pressure more than 140 of systolic and blood pressure more than uh, 90 of diastolic millimeter mercury we consider it as stage 1 hypertension and if it's stage 2 hypertension is if the preparation is more than systolic more than 160 or diastolic more than 100 we call it as stage 2 hypertension. So why we are more talking more about this hypertension? So why? What is the importance of hypertension in nowadays in modern era is this hypertension nowadays it's a major culprit for de developing major complication in your human body. Example saying like uh, stroke, heart attack, kidney diseases, peripheral vascular diseases, eye diseases. So all these complications, the major complication are because of hypertension and diabetes. So today we are going to talk about hypertension. So what are the causes? What are the causes for hypertension? So the causes would be Obviously, the first and four, foremost causes is stress factor. So the stress is a major role for developing hypertension. And apart from that, advanced age, elderly patients more than 50 or more than 60, or nowadays it's more than 40, that they develop hypertension. Patients with cholesterol, high cholesterol levels are more common for the hypertension. Patients with habit of smoking, alcohol, and other drug hypertension. So apart from hypertension, apart from hypertension, all these factors, patient is having sedentary lifestyle habits. So these are also one of the major causes for hypertension. So what are the clinical signs, symptoms and signs we see in hypertension? So what I told you about all these habits are the etiology. Apart from the, the clinical feature, what are the symptoms we encounter with hypertension patients are patient will have uh, chest discomfort, breathlessness, patient will have giddiness or severe headache, patient will have blurring of vision, and they will have nausea and vomiting. So all the symptoms are more common in hypertensive patients. And obviously, apart from that, what are the signs we elicit? You have to look for the, what to say, the patient with hypertensive retinopathy, you have to look for the fundus examination to look for any papillary edema, to look for the retinal dead vessels, and you have to take the ECG. So in ECG, you have any hypertensive changes like left ventricular hypertrophy, or you have to look for major changes like any ST elevation or ST depression with acute cardiac event. So you have to look for all this, you have to investigate all these parameters to look for any endanger that can happen due to hypertension. So apart from that, we have to take a serial monitoring of the blood pressure every fourth hourly for patients who are admitted in, in as an inpatient in ICU or general ward. So, so these are the investigations, these are the signs you have to look for uh, elevated BP in hypertensive patients. Uh, and what are the complications? So what are the complications patients with hypertension can develop? What are the complications? The first and most common complication we develop is the stroke, that is the cerebrovascular accident, patient will have neurological deficit, patient can develop weakness of upper limbs, either in the unilateral upper, bilateral upper and lower limbs. Patient will have deviation of angle of mouth, 
patient can develop slurring of speech or absence of speech. Patient will have blurring of vision. So these are the neurological complications uh, in stroke with the hypertension patient. And the patient with cardiac complications, like patient can have a sudden acute onset of chest pain, breathlessness, palpitation, giddiness, sweating, radiation of pain to the arms and chest or back. So all the symptoms, cardiac can, can, symptoms can also encounter in hypertensive patient. So what are the other complications patient will have severe uh, abdominal pain or patient will have myalgia or arthralgia. So all the other substantial symptoms can also develop in hypertension. So how we are going to manage these hypertensive patients? So the first and foremost is lifestyle modification. So patient with free hypertension have to go for primary prevention or primary uh, prime, secondary preventions like a restricted salt diet, high intake of fiber food, avoidance of smoking and alcohol. You have to go for DASH. What is mean by DASH? It's dietary approach to stop hypertension. So these are the dietary parameters like taking excessive sodium, taking less sodium, taking high fiber and taking excessive fruits. So these are the antioxidant properties that can encounter the hypertensive growth. And uh, patient especially should be taking alcohol and other drugs to combat hypertension. The, and patient, the second most common uh, management is stress levels. Patient should go for antipsychotic or antidepressant or anti-anxiety drugs. Patient should go for a proper psychiatric counseling to alleviate all this psychiatric complaints to keep the hypertension under control. And what is the third most common point, thing is we have to take a proper active and clean food diet. Like you, have, you should not skip our breakfast or lunch or dinner and you should take on all time. And we should go for a high aerobic regular exercises uh, to keep our body fit and to combat all this hypertension and cholesterol levels. So apart from that, what all we should go? is we should have a normal sleep pattern. We should sleep early to encounter all this hypertension to rise and we should have a, a secure and happy environmental surrounding to also control hypertension. hypertension. Uh, so these are the management of hypertension. So in nowadays in modern era, hypertension is one of the most common burden that can com complicate all this, uh, our health and our mind. So first of all, we should know the, all the basics of hypertension. So what we should do is, we should, if you are a hypertensive patient, the first we should take our drugs at regular time and period. We should not skip our drugs medication and we should take food at our regular intervals. We should not skip our breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And especially, we should have, each one should have our BP, a digital BP apparatus at home to monitor our BP twice daily, either in, uh, especially either in mor morning and at night. Before taking our antipotency drugs, after our food, we should. Look, you have to take a proper charting, BP charting, and if you go for a, for a review, uh, to a follow -up for a uh, consultant or family doctor, we should show our BP charting how how frequently we are taking our uh, measurements and how these blood parameters, blood pressure is being under control. So accordingly, so for each follow up or each visit to a doctor, he can able to modify the drug or you can be able to modify the frequency or dosage accordingly, according to your DB. So this is a very important factor we should take in at our home to control our DB. This is a very, very important step you should do. You should carry out so that it is better for our health to prevent all these major complications like stroke, uh, heart attack, or other associated diseases. 
and especially our kidney and our eyes. So with this, I conclude my topic and I really thank the CIPLA company for giving us a wonderful opportunity to talk on the to talk about the basics and understanding the principles of hypertension and what we should do and what we should not do in our daily life. I really thank you. Thank you very much.